Armour has gone back and forth with the city of Jackson saying it wants its own water system. The Jackson mayor has suggested that won't come without a price, but Byram's not waiting. Starting the process now of looking for its own water wells. The city of Byram says it is starting the search process at three locations to find its own water well sites. One location is at Lake Dockery and Sywell Road, another around the corner at a site owned by the city. Byram says it is planning to use all of its more than $2 million in American Rescue Plan Act funding on water projects. Anything we get from the state or from the feds are going to be used to, uh, with our wastewater and water because that's our big biggest needs right now. Could that money be used to help break away from the city of Jackson? Oh, yes, sir. Also? But not everyone is investing its ARPA money on water needs only. Hines County is planning on spending just $18 million of its $45 million allocation on water projects. It is spending $3 million on renovating a building on State Street to house voting machines and county offices. Another $4 million for low-interest loans through Hope Federal Credit Union. Robert Graham thinks those are bad uses of the money. We're only spending $10 million on paving roads. I think we should double that and be spending around $20 million to pave roads. But we're spending $24 million on projects that I just really don't agree with. The city of Jackson drew criticism for not planning to spend more of its ARPA money on water projects. Thursday, the city council will approve what has been spent so far, holding the rest of its $42 million allocation for that purpose. We still have $27.4 million in ARPA funds that have not been committed yet. But Barham is moving forward with its hopes of spending its ARPA money on water projects and an eventual departure from relying on the city of Jackson. First of all, we've got to find where the good water is and then we've got to bore it. And then there's the legal fight with Jackson about well, it we away. really need him. We need to sit down and talk about that and see what we can do to help uh, and get past this. Will you need to pay Jackson for this infrastructure? I'm not sure how we can do that. Well, the Jackson mayor says the city owns the infrastructure here and doesn't plan to give it away. The city of Byron now believes it could establish its own water system for a price tag of around $23 million. But the search for that new water well in this area, that work could start as possibly as soon as the end of this year. Live in Byram, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.